This express center distributes all the company's parcels for the east of the district. Around 15,000 parcels arrived on Thursday. That's about 70% of the normal volume for this center. Express deliveries ground to a halt when the outbreak took hold, with only essential supplies delivered. At the start of the COVID outbreak, our main task was to ensure supplies of mainly food and medication. Since we resumed normal services, the numbers of parcels has increased extremely quickly. Delivery workers are busy slacking parcels behind me. Around 140 staff members at this station are back to work now, accounting for 75% of the total. Shanghai authorities have allowed delivery companies to restart normal services in two batches this month. They have to deal with new parcels coming each day, as well as parcels that have been delayed and stored in the warehouse due to the COVID outbreak. At the peak, we had more than 60,000 delayed parcels piled up in the warehouse. As more parcels are coming in, we need to accelerate deliveries. Now we have less than 30,000 delayed parcels, and we are confident we can clear them this week. With an upcoming online shopping festival in mid-June, more parcels coming in and out of Shanghai will test for the city's express delivery system. Local authorities said on Thursday that all the distribution centers and delivery stations are expected to be operational by early or mid-June. At present, 20 major distribution and processing centers have resumed operations, covering postal enterprises, major domestic express delivery companies, cross-border shipping companies and foreign companies. Eight other distribution and processing centers will be put into operation soon. Over one-third of the distribution centers have reopened. More than 580 service halls, branches and outlets have also resumed operations. And nearly 20,000 employees in the sector are back to work. Wu Bin, CGTN, Shanghai.